It just went on the boat trip. What freaking boat? Belongs to Jan Peters, survivor from the Estonia. Left diving equipment and a cameraman on board. Shit. 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 Exactly. So what do you propose we do? In American football, we call it the prevent defense. Just get them out of there. The wreck is in international waters. I don't give a damn. Get them out of there. They can't go down there. This cannot be done discreetly. Don't even try. God damn it. What was it this time, Louis? The Iraqis? No. Or the North Koreans? No, honey. No amateurs. God damn amateurs. down below. I don't know what kind of weapons, but according to my source, they were sold by Russians and they were being accompanied by a Russian scientist. The man handcuffed with a briefcase. The man they killed. Who is this source? Ecstasy. He's as high up and connected as you can get. Apparently he still is. All we need is proof that there was an explosion. And they'll have no choice but to reopen the investigation. You just can't hide something this big. I don't care about the politics of this. I've seen people die for fascism, for communism, for capitalism. It doesn't matter. The dead no longer know why. And the living no longer care. I made one promise to my wife that I intend to keep. We had vowed to spend eternity together. We have two plots in the churchyard overlooking the sea in the town where we met. That's why I'm here. I couldn't give a rat's ass about the politics. Bridge to Captain Peter. Get it close. I'd be on the bridge. I want to be very clear with you about something. I don't want you to put, put a, a camera, camera in his face. I was taught that the purpose of journalism is to hold up a mirror to the world. If we can find out and tell the world why Max and Ingrid Peters are and no longer with us, then maybe, maybe I can look in my own mirror. It's showtime! We're recording. spent outwards. We 
meters above the Estonia and about to be arrested by the Swedish Coast Guard. I've got proof of an explosion. You can start the promos now. No. There won't be any promos and you can keep your proof. But... You no longer work for GTN. God knows I want you. What the hell are they doing? Do what he says. We've got what we need, Mr. Peters. This is your, your final warning. warning. Team two. Let it bring those boys up. Seahorse, follow the report now. Well, she's not very happy. I am not very happy. This is the last time. Unless the Americans tell you otherwise. I promise you, madam, she won't bother the good people of Sweden again. Just get rid of her. She was never here, I was never here. And I wasn't either. Exactly. Where the hell am I? In considerable trouble. Good. I demand to see a lawyer. I'm afraid, Mrs. Reiter, you're in no position to demand anything. Oh, I see. Because this isn't on the books, is it? No. No jail cell, no paperwork. No lawyer. Basically, I just don't exist. Unfortunately, you do. Then so do you. You must have a name, a title. What about a conscience? Who the hell are you? This is not important. What is is that you and your colleagues were committing piracy. In a tugboat. Trespassing. On international waters. Over a banned site. Banned? Now, why is that? Tell me, mystery woman. What's the big secret, huh? Mrs. Ryder, may I remind you that you could be staying in Sweden a very long time. We'll see about that. What have you done with my friends? Out of respect to their grief, and understanding that such grief is being manipulated by an unscrupulous member of the media, Peters and Westermark have been released. And my cameraman. Hey, 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 hey. Take it easy. Take it easy, guys. Take it easy. Mr. Weber has elected to return to Germany. What about without his videotapes? He asked that you not call him again. Those videotapes are not your property. They are evidence of your criminal enterprise. They're evidence of a cover-up. Why the hell is this allegedly progressive, compassionate country participating in this, this charade? The Estonia blew up. You know that. I know that. All I know is that you should be bound over for trial. However, we have decided to expel you forthwith. Wait, you just let me walk out of here? Yes. No strings. No strings. In view of your compelling family emergency, we can do no less. What emergency? I'm looking for my son, Daniel Boyd. He's just sleeping. What happened? There was a fire in your apartment. Unfortunately, Danny was home. How bad is it? It may require a skin graft. <laughs> The fire department had arrived just one minute later. He'd, he'd have... <sighs> Is this about the Estonia? Probably. Well, maybe you should just get off that story. Well, you're not the first person to make that suggestion.
Bom. Bom. Okay. I need to talk to Danny. The fire wasn't an accident, Danny. And neither was what happened to those people in Estonia. I've been arrested. I've been fired. And now this happens. Whoever's behind this. They want me to go away. Are you? Gonna go away? I don't want to. I want to fight it. The victims and their families, they, they deserve it. The more I bring this story out into the open, then the safer we're gonna be. All of us. I'll stay at Dad's. I need more than words, Danny. Or I won't even leave this room, let alone the city. Be okay, Mom. Thank you. Fifty thousand Deutschmarks. So your producer finally came through. On the contrary, I got fired last week for pursuing this story. The money is mine. Insurance payoff. This is what my son's life was worth. He was on board the Estonia. What do you want to know? Everything. The truck contained beta versions of advanced weapon systems, SDI technology, weapons grade uranium, the usual. But more significantly, the truck contained the fruits of years of Dr. Rasper's research. What exactly was his field? Biochem. What caused the explosion? What explosion? Quit playing games. Our divers saw a hole in the side of the ship that could only have been made by an explosion. The metal was bent outwards. Most likely Samtrax or Haxa composite. Okay, so reduce it to a sound bite. You're telling me the KGB purposely took down a passenger ferry in international waters, killing hundreds, potentially poisoning the Baltic, and, and risking millions more lives simply to stop one scientist with the truckload of germs from defecting? No, not the new KGB. Well, who then? Let's just say there's still certain elements within who have enough pride to not allow Raspoff to simply walk away with what was not his. I'm sorry, that was not a sound right. Did this man blow up the Estonia? An excellent likeness. He was in the bar, looking for Raspoff. Who is he? Victor Ranko, gifted field agent and explosive specialist. Ranko could have met the ferry in Stockholm, picked Raspoff up when he stepped onto the dock. It's more complicated than that. The Soviet bear is now nothing more than a collection of squabbling cubs. There's no loyalty left, no respect for the mother country. But for some of my former comrades, these defections cut deep. You knew this would happen? No, not exactly. Perhaps they only wanted to disable the boat. Some retribution was inevitable and necessary. Opa, Opa, I want to go home. Sasha, Opa is busy. You must wait. Sasha. <laughs> Forgive me. I'm not sure that's possible. 852 innocent people died. Why didn't you warn someone? War? Who? The police, the government. Which government warned them about what? The inevitable. 
Someone could have stopped it. You are not Eve, Mr. Westermark. Why is everyone trying so hard to cuff this up? We'll find the answer to that in Estonia, but... Good costume. Money's not an issue. I'm not speaking of money. It may cost you your lives. You'll see former comrade Gregor Karpatic. He's a technocrat in the Estonian Telephone Exchange. We do business. You ask what a technocrat in the Telephone Exchange does. He listens. We've been made. By who? The relief captain Callas. He ordered us off the ship. What about the cargo? It's on board, but flying solo. Get back here, now. That's where it ends. Go back a bit. The relief captain Callas, he ordered us off the ship. Stop. Callas. And you have these tapes because... Information is power, and power is survival. You want it or not? Do these voices have names? There you go. It's finished. A younger man is unimportant, but older man is Yuri Roos, State Secretary of Ministry of Defense. Are you certain? I've heard Secretary Roos voice a thousand times. I have his private office number, his cell phone number, and his mistress's number, I am certain. This may not be admissible in a court of law, but... No, but it's still not enough. We'll never get to Roos, not even close. These are just voices on tape. Voices can be doctored. We need an eyewitness. We need someone we can put on camera. Who did you say the other voices? Nobody you want to meet, ever. We'll take our chances. You'll never get one. The caller on the tape said us. That Callus ordered us off the ship. Who's the other person? Give us that. Come on. Who is he? Tell me. Gregor Karpatic. What would happen if your boss, or even Yuri Roos, got to know about your side business here? Garrick said you could be trusted. Garrick was mistaken. Give us the other eyewitness. With what's in this envelope, Karpatic? We can't go digital. Give us the eyewitness. Is your son all right? Yeah. Yeah, the doctor was very encouraging. No grafts. I mean, is he all right with what you're doing? Uh, you told me that Max had a wise smile. Well, Danny's also wise beyond his years. What about your husband? My ex. Oh. <laughs> I met Guy when I moved to Berlin. I was on an assignment. Uh, it was before the wall came down. The city was filled with such a constant sense of danger and desperation and desire. I fell in love, and I never left. I fell in love with Berlin. <laughs> it's the only home my son's ever known. What about yourself? I always live where the story is.
Welcome. I've been waiting for us. For anyone. So, how much money do you want? I do not desire money. I only desire forgiveness, which is, of course, not yours to grant. I'm a soldier. I was a soldier. But I raped and sold my homeland as if I were an invader. I was attached to the weapons research lab at the Russian base near the border. On the night of September 26, I was ordered with my partner to help a Russian scientist defect with a truckload of stolen material. Who gave the order? It came from the top. Yuri Rus? Well, why would the State Secretary of Defense be involved in something like this? Yuri Rose was born in Estonia. Son of a bar girl and an American general. He was trained at West Point and he served in the US government before Estonia became independent. Then after independence, he came back home to this big important job. But his heart and his friends are still in America. Was Raspov defecting to the US? Was he? I put him on the ship to Sweden. Where he went after is not my business. You took him from the army base to the Estonia. Why weren't you on the ferry? Unfortunately, my ex-partner Mick, he's a bit of a hothead. He created an incident with one of the passengers. So the relief captain was forced to put us off the ship. If he hadn't, I'd be dead today. Drowned along with everybody else. Almost everybody else. I saw Gallas in Stockholm. Now they say he's missing. Can you explain that? Gallas was an inconvenience. Bruce ordered us to extradite him. But his wife, she was in Stockholm within hours looking for her husband. How come you got to Callas before she did? We had help from the Swedes. If Callus is still alive, where would he be? It's best to forget about that man. If this man, this inconvenience, is still alive, then my son might be as well. No. There was no child. He will not help you find your child! Where is he? Tell me where he is! Let me go! Ivo, this man needs his peace. I need my peace too! I need my peace! Sorry. Tell us to Sector 9. What is Sector 9? American base. They call it Sector 9. Somewhere in Germany. How do we find this place? Forget about Sector 9, my friend. Even if you did find Kalas, he can't give you peace. I can't give you peace. Only oh, God can do that. What now? CNN, BBC. Get out! Go! Go! Go to the car! I said go to the car now! Come on!
May Oli may your superat. Because I'm a soldier. I am a soldier. <laughs> Maxwell Small. My wife and I rented a cabin every autumn on the Baltic shore. It was always a happy time for us. Are you divorced? No. We lost Petra to cancer. One day she was sick and then she was gone. I'm so sorry. After that, there were no more happy times. Only sadness. But after a few years, the veil lifted a bit, and I thought, if I took Max back to Estonia, to the Baltic, who knows? Happy times might return. I booked the same cabin for the same weeks in September. Went sailing and swimming, just as before. Picnics, and walked on the beach. But it was not the same. So I cut the trip short. Of light. If we hadn't left earlier. No, no, no. You mustn't blame yourself. I've lost my wife. And my only child. To lose one is hard, but to lose them both. That's why we have to find Callus, because if he is alive... We will person... find Callus. I promise you, we'll find him. I need to get some air. Gentlemen looking for me? Nine. Where the hell is it? 
What makes you think I would know? Oh, come on, Garrett. Don't be coy now. I don't have the time. Sasha, go home. I'll get the chicken. Only please. Something has happened. Eric Westermark's been kidnapped. I want you. This is not my fault. Oh, funny you should say that. You know, all last night when I was making my way here, I kept asking myself, I kept thinking, how did the Russians find out about Raspa's defection? The army base was on Estonian soil. It was, it was guarded and run by the Estonian military. The entire operation was being engineered by the Estonian Ministry of Defense. And yet, within hours, perhaps moments, the KGB knew not only that he was gone, they knew exactly where he went. Now, how did they know that, Garrick? Hmm? Could it have been the, one of their old comrades, ex-Stasi agent? Tip them off. I didn't choose capitalism. It was thrust upon me. <laughs> You're a quick study, Gehrig. You know, working the system, playing both sides against the middle. Not bad for a man who claims to have devoted most of his life to the cause. Devotion won't buy food or put a roof over my grandson's head. Oh, look, everyone's got bills to pay, but not everyone is complicit in mass murder. <laughs> Hey, you look down your nose at me. You who feed off the misery of others. I report the truth. What truth? The globalist truth. You are no better than the Americans who plunder technology and natural resources to then call it fair trade. So, Raspoff's spy was American. Not American. America. Well, it's good. Make proud countries like Sweden and Estonia roll over and cower like beaten dogs. Oh, I see. So it wasn't just the money. You still believe. The glory of the revolution may be gone. But for some, it's not forgotten. It's dead, Garrick. Now just tell me. Sector 9, just tell me where it is. Otherwise, I go straight to Interpol and I implicate you for the sinking of the Estonia. Go ahead. Look, you can see your grandson any time you like. Eric Westermark's never gonna see his boy again. I'd say you were a lucky man, Garrick. Sector 9 is just outside Goslar. A quaint medieval village where one night a year every housewife dresses up like a witch and parades through the streets. It's the one night when they don't have to behave. Sector 9 is quite anonymous. And you don't have a chance in hell of getting in. Help you, ma'am? Yes, I'm here to see one or two of your political prisoners. Eric Westermark and Captain Callis. Please turn around, ma'am. I don't think so. You look so serious, Sergeant. Why don't you smile? After all, you're on TV. If you don't let me in, and this scene and this location will be broadcast to all of Europe over dinner. I'll be right back, ma'am. Looks like they're taking me seriously, Rock. Good. Hey, did Dackel approve this? I forgot to ask him. Are you sure you're going to be okay in there? Well, if I'm not, you know what you gotta do, right? You got it. Good luck. Thanks. Please drive to the steps, ma'am. You'll be met there.
Nice to see you again. You saved us a lot of trouble. I didn't know they let Estonian army majors run loose on American bases. What's the problem? Everybody shares now. Well, then share with me. Release Eric Westermark. Assuming he was here, why would we do that? Because if he and I don't walk out of here in one hour and 55 minutes, then a box of very incriminating tapes featuring some notable voices, including yours, discussing the real reasons why the Estonia sank will be released to the international media. What tapes? The ones Gregor Karpadich made. Major Mick Gold. I'm grateful you're such a lousy shot. I don't think Karpadich would share that opinion or my late friend and comrade Ivo Vares. Release whatever you will. It won't prove a thing. I think you underestimate the influence of the media. Not in here. This way, Miss Reuter. Enjoy your reunion. I was hoping they wouldn't find you. They didn't. I found them. What? I got out of Estonia with the tapes. I tracked you down. And if we don't waltz out of here, then Rock's gonna see to it that they go out on air all over the world. But if you already had the tapes, you didn't need to put yourself in this position. No, I, I had to. I, I... I did. Excellent time, Julia. Come on. Maybe I didn't think this through completely. The one thing I've learned throughout this is that the rest of the world no longer plays by the rules. Apes or not, we can quite easily disappear. So can they. And after time, the world will forget and turn its attention to the next big story. Not until this one is finished. and Mr. Westermark, I presume. I hope the two of you realize just how inconvenient all this is. So was the murder of all those people on the Estonia. Uh, apparently you have some tapes. With both your voices on them. Yes, all we have been told. Your English is excellent, Mr. Secretary. California, right? L.A., baby. And that's one thing I miss being a big fish in a small Baltic pond. Dodgers, baseball, go blue. <laughs> and Starbucks, right? Don't forget Starbucks. You, sir, we, we haven't identified yet. Not important. No, no, of course not. Not at all. Just uh, pulling the strings of three or four different countries. I expect we'll find you in the DOD phone directory. Just take a little digging. You don't have a big enough shovel. No, but I do have the tapes. 
And you guys have got barely five minutes. You have no idea what's at stake. Why don't you tell us? Uh, Mr. Westermark, we did not kill your son. Ex-KGB agents trying to disable the ship caused your son's death. You put him in a position to be killed, along with all the others. We had no choice. We had to play the hand we were dealt. And what hand might that be? When the Soviet Union disintegrated, the base commanders in all the satellite countries started selling every piece of ordnance that wasn't nailed down. Now, that's a fact. And you've been buying, which is also a fact. Who would you want to have bought them now? We need, the world needs that these materials stay out of the hands of rogue nations. Oh, so if your motives are so pure, then why the secrecy? The United States government can only deal with governments. So it's up to its undercover agents to deal with black marketeers and thieves. And the economic and political dynamic of those transactions mandates secrecy. If the secrecy of this operation had not been compromised, your son would not be dead. I'm terribly, terribly sorry for your loss. But we are doing our damnedest to save the world from destruction. It's not free. Certain sacrifices are inevitable. Oh, that's what you people always say to justify your collateral damage. Except, you know, why draw the line at 852? Why not 1,000? Or 5,000? Or the hundreds of thousands around the Baltic Sea that you've endangered by transporting weaponized biochem on a passenger ferry, for Christ's sake? There is no danger. No one is in any danger. Unless the poison seeps into the seawater, and then everybody is. We all are. No. no. Our decon team got in there immediately and neutralized the material. Then why not bring the body up? Because then the proof has to come up with them. That's why. Assuming I agree to your proposal, can I trust you? Oh, who the hell elected you God? Can I trust you? You got no choice. So no duplication, ever. You know what a duplicate would buy, yes? Do you understand? Do you understand? I mean, you guys have got just one minute, and if we're still here, then tomorrow morning, every camera in Europe's gonna be at that gate. 50 seconds. I'm just going to see a closed sign. I mean, maybe you have not heard, but the Cold War is over, and we have all gone home. 45 seconds. 40 seconds. 35 seconds. 30 seconds. You too. You go home. Give her her telephone. Call off your dogs. Self-righteous fucking amateurs. My son, Max. Max the sailor. He comes with us. Sure. He's all yours. Captain, let's go home.
I don't think he wants to go with you. His family is what... We are his family now. Bye-bye, my hero. Have a nice day. Bye, The governments of Sweden, Estonia, and Finland have not answered the question why 852 people had to die, nor why their bodies remain at the bottom of the Baltic Sea.